Wow, I need some coffee. We got solar flares and CMEs, comets and asteroids. Elenin, E-L-E-N-I-N. Does it even exist? Because a lot of researchers can't find it any... It, 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 it's not where NASA said it is. But they found a brown dwarf where the comet is supposed to be. Hmm. NASA is also reporting that we could see a second sun in the sky in the next year or so. But don't be worried, because it would probably just be a supernova from Betelgeuse. Oh really? Do they know what phase of its 140,000 year life cycle Betelgeuse is even in? They admit no. They don't know. But they won't change their story either. So. If you see a second sun coming, head for the hills. I don't know. Grab the bug out bags if you got them. If something was really headed for us, you know, they wouldn't be giving us real details. That would make everything stop working. Everyone would freak out, and they're not going to do that. We're not going to get any heads up from them if anything happens. Um, interestingly... NASA, NOAA, and USGS have also all recently deleted or changed information previously posted on their sites, original images, and event maps or feeds. I wonder why. Don't want you to know the truth. Obama signed a deal with Harper in February 2011 on the North American perimeter with Canada. Though our press won't talk about it, the Canadians are on the ball and mad as hell. This is an opening to create the North American Union, for those who might think otherwise. No, that, that's exactly what this is. And if that happens, our sovereignty is gone. Dead. Finito. That's it. That's all she wrote. Um... We have federal consolidation happening right under our noses through the Department of Homeland Security. You hear me talk about that a lot, a lot right? You should, if, if you want to know more about that, see my federal consolidation video for more details on that fun stuff. Um, they're regulating your rights away, and there is nothing that even the best intended congressman could do or say about it, and I doubt they even know. Um, so you can check that out. It's pretty bad. Of course, the federal consolidation stuff isn't really anything new. That's been happening for a while now. Um, the Patriot Act is what really set it off. And Bush, with his Office of Homeland Security, and then expanding to the Department of Homeland Security. You know, the Department of Homeland Security is the one you really really got to watch. But, okay. Anyway, enough about that. Too much to go through. Um, span, yeah, the Patriot Act... Here's a wake-up call. Um, so many people are so happy that they didn't renew the provisions of the Patriot Act, right? Well, guess what? They already planned for that failure and have already regulated most of the Patriot Act in a piece at a time through various agencies under Department of Homeland Security control. So it's not gone, folks. Don't get your hopes up on that one. I'd still there. Um, the dollar is almost dead. If you're paying attention to anything, you should know at least that much. Food and gas prices are going up, up, up. And this is just the tip of the iceberg on what we'll be expected to pay this summer with so many jobless and in a weak economy like this. And who knows what's going to happen between now and then. This one's kind of funny to me on a personal level. Um, the National Organization Tea Party Patriots is finally coming out of their investigation that's been done. Um, do not give them money. 75% of that money goes to the core organizers as salary on the national level. No local groups affiliated with them see a penny. And that's that's hardly touching any of the problems with Tea Party Patriots national crap. 
I've said it a million times and I'll say it again. If you really want to get involved in that way, don't go to a state group or a national group. None of that established crap. The parties, they're not going to help you. They're not going to do crap. Wasting time, all these people trying to take over the Republican Party or take over the Democratic Party, working on that. It's not going to get you anywhere. And while you're doing that, look at all this shit that you're missing. Stop. You know, if we can even get our country back on track, and I'm not saying we can at this point. I, I don't know. But suppose we could. I mean, that that's something that would have to be a maintenance issue looked at later. You can't be focused on that. That's not going to do anything. They're corrupt. They're crooks. Ugh. They don't even know what's happening within the local groups anyway. And they've taken over. You know, Pelosi kept talking about AstroTurf. I'm not going to argue with her there. She was right on that level. But I'll probably do a whole other video on that later. All right, what else? We have mainstream media lies and cover-ups. Same old, same old. We've got the Department of Homeland Security telling people to snitch on their neighbors. They're putting up those videos at Walmart, and now they're going to put them up in JCPenney's, and they're going to put them up in hotels, and they've got flyers and posters up in bus stops and Amtrak and wherever the people need to go. Be sure you're a rat on someone. Did you rat on someone today? Big Sister Wants to Know. Speaking of more on DHS, um, they are already scanning your body through the TSA. And now they claim they've tested and are now almost ready to start scanning your brain for troubling thoughts. You might want to check out FAST, F-A-S-T, and Project or Operation Hostile Intent. Hmm. Wonder what they'd find in mine. Or anyone who doesn't agree with them. Um, it's being reported from people in the Gulf on YouTube and other blog or vlog sites that they are still spraying the chemical dispersant corrects at 9500. But you won't hear about that in the mainstream media either. Even though it's more toxic than the oil, or oil volcano rather, that is still seeping from the crack in the sea floor. By the way, if you thought that the oil leak was over in the Gulf just because they said so, now you know better. They can't stop a cre crack in the seabed with a cap or a relief well. The Gulf is a dead zone. There is no reason to question why fishermen aren't catching and the shellfish aren't producing. Don't eat food from the Gulf. People are turning up sick in droves from contact or inhalation of dispersants. Imagine what it will do if you eat it. The FCC will be testing their new presidential emergency alert system sometime in the next month. Um, there's still lots of violence along the Mexican border. Meanwhile, DHS, again, has dispatched ICE to focus on shutting down websites completely unrelated to immigration on supposed copyright and intellectual property violations. Okay. And, oh look, more conspiracy theories now proven to be truth. We have ICLEI, I-C-L-E-I, and Agenda 21, a.k.a. Sustainability, coming to a city council meeting near you. Uh, the EPA, under DHS control, are implementing cap-and-trade through regulation since they couldn't make it pass in constitutional order. They're starting slowly with test areas, like over here, um, though you can't find much about it on the web yet. They are doing their test run in Skagit County, Washington State. They call the local project Envision Skagit. Doesn't that sound all nice and inviting? 
Don't be gullible. Open your eyes. So there's been a lot going on. And like I said, that's just, it's barely touching what all's been going on. Um, so if you're one of those people that easily writes things off as conspiracy theory without bothering to look into and research for yourself to find the truth, stop. These are things that people have been saying for years, and you told them to go put on the tinfoil hat. And now, they're proven. So, I hope that at least one of you, someone that listens to this, will go do some research on their own and find out the truth for themselves. Talk to you later.